good day pilots plasma 1945 taking off on gs going to go hunt down some blue force in my mig 29 s and uh, more red fort content coming on the channel and i want to thank all 5,000 people who have subscribed to this channel over the last couple of years i never would have thought me flying an airplane would be that interesting so thanks for the support guys and let's jump into this fight now i've been flying quite a bit of the f-16 myself for the tact competition which we put up a good fight and a good show with the 404 freelancers but now we are out of that comp after a few victories and a few defeats but now i get to make more red 4 videos so turning in onto the hostile that the ground controller called out for me first thing you do is you slew your radar towards the direction of the enemy and i've even got him locked before my nose is pointing at him he fires an M120 at me. The RWR has changed that there's a missile coming, but I'm sending my ET right back in his direction. And I'm doing a defensive dive. Because my ET does not transmit anything, he has no idea there's a missile coming for his face. And it gets him. Level out the wings, watch the RWR, and there's the missile flying right next to me in formation. I just barely defeated it. So, close call and survive the missile. Let's break this down and just look at the actual fight here. So here's the F-16 burning toward me. It's a low to high shot. I'm above him, he's slightly below me. I turn in and now comes the actual launch. So the F-16 waited for my nose to be pointing towards him and then he fired. Could have fired a little earlier and then I send my ET and immediately dive down to defend. No warning. No one expects an ET to the face. Bam. Pander and the F-16 is out of here. Now, he's got an AIM-120B. You can tell by the sharp uh, wingtips there, but that missile is out of energy and loses lock and I am free to extend. So there you go guys, very quick fight, hopefully something interesting for you from that fight. The important thing is, use that radar to your advantage, slew when required, and uh, defend hard, drop chaff, drop flares, and believe in your MiG-29. And when it comes to landings, well, I'm first off, I do want to, well, we're coming in for this lovely landing, I do want to thank everybody for subscribing to the channel. There's over 5,000 subscribers. Who would, would have thought that two and a half years ago that there'd be people wanting to watch my planes flying around. And uh, the important thing about the MiG-29 landing is being very gentle. Now in this fight, that was the only hostile I splashed. Everybody else either got away or I was out of position. I figured, okay, you know what? Let's just come back and land. So gear down at about five kilometers from base. Nice gentle slope. I'm on idle right now and I've got my flaps dropped. The goal is to reduce speed. Popping air brakes out only when required. And remember, on the MiG-29, if your gear is lowered, your air brake will not work. So it's an interesting little conundrum there. So if you want to use an air brake, you have to use it before you drop your gear. So coming in for a landing, uh, there is my frenemy, 102nd for the Queen. He's flying an F-16. He's taking off towards me, so I make sure I pop flares as I'm coming in for a landing. Get his attention and make sure he sees that I'm coming in as he is taking off. The last thing I want to do is uh, have some sort of a mid-air incident here. So I'm going down, he's going up, and safe. No problems there. I paid a bit too much attention to him, and I didn't cruise just long enough. Touchdown and a bounce. I touched down a little too fast here, but that's okay. Now I'm a low rider, and as always, guys, fly safe. Plasma 1945, signing off.